Hey guys and welcome to episode 9 of how to be a 3D animator. In this episode, we're going to reveal the top secret tools and resources that animators use to study and understand animation better. Make sure to stick around to the end, let's get right into it. So the first tool we're going to talk about is called the Analyzer. That's Analyzer with A-N-I-L-Y-Z-E-R. Uh, with Analyzer, you can import a video, whether it be a reference or someone else's animation you'd like to study. You just pop in the link or the video and you can easily scrub through it frame by frame. If it's a reference, going frame by frame helps you understand the origin of the motion. For example, if the character turns around, you can study exactly where that movement originated from. Did the neck start moving first, then the head, then the torso? Or did the turn start with the core of the body making its way up and etc. So it just helps you get a better understanding. Uh, if the video you pop in is an animation that you'd like to study, then you can easily dissect the artistic choices made by the animator, including the timing of certain movements down to the frame, when they chose to squash and stretch the character and in what way, and different silhouette choices they made and when they decide to smash that like button and then hitting the subscribe button to stay notified of future videos. So yeah, it's overall just super, super informative. It, it's super helpful. It helps you get a better understanding of just animation overall, whether it be, again, a reference or you're studying someone else's animation. It's just a good overall tool. The next tool we're going to talk about is you. <laughs> I'm kidding, I love you guys. The second tool we're going to talk about is Sync Sketch. This is a tool I use very often to get accurate and precise critiques because once you upload your work, you can share the link with someone and the person who you share the link with is able to draw over and write on precise frames of their choice. So for example, and you could see this real time. So for example, they could tell you that on frame 47, there is a tangent happening between the finger and the table. And so you can just go back to your animation, go to frame 47, like they said, and fix whatever the critique was. It doesn't get any more precise than that. One thing you got to keep in mind, though, is since what happens on Sync Sketch is, well, synced, like the name suggests, you have to make sure to have one person give you a critique at a time. Because if one person is drawing over a frame, and you also give the link to a second person and the second person starts scrubbing the timeline the person that was drawing on that frame will, will one, lose their drawing and lose the frame that they were working on and that will frustrate them a lot I made that mistake before and um, that's why I'm single now so don't make the same mistake I did just give the link to one person let them do the little critique and then inform them you're about to give it to someone else if you're gonna give it to someone else. So if you guys are too lazy to grab a link and bring your video into Analyzer, YouTube also has a button that allow you to go frame by frame just in the YouTube interface. So you just wanna open up the video you'd like to, as a reference and the two buttons you wanna click is comma and period. So period goes forward by one frame as you guys can see, I'm just clicking it slowly and the video is going forward one frame at a time. Not one second, not, one, not five seconds, but frames in particular. So the same thing is actually possible with Vimeo as well. Um, for Vimeo, it's a little bit different. You have to pause the video, hold shift, and you can move forward and backwards with the left and right arrow keys. So while holding shift, I'm pressing the uh, right arrow key. Oops, let me select the screen, pause the video, shift, right arrow key, and I'm going forward frame by frame. Left key, I start going backwards, I can just, there you go. And yeah, there you go. Just shift, right arrow, left arrow. Okay guys, again, if you enjoyed this video or if it helped you in any way, I only ask one thing, that is, you help me with the YouTube algorithm by smashing that like button. 
Smash that like button, hit the sub button, stay notified of future videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy animating.